Welcome to Hunky Food Dudes episode 35. I'm Chris C. I'm Jimmy T. And I'm KP. And I'm here too. Where's Johnny? Here's Johnny. Johnny. He's getting married. He's got married. He's, he's got just, married. He's gone. That's right. But where, where are we trying today? Where are we trying today, Jimmy? Guys, we are on a Hunky Food Dudes secret location. We're having Afghan cuisine and we can't wait to get stuck into it. And we'll see you right after this intro. Yay! First episode of the year, even though we did the best of 2020. Johnny's yeah, ditched us. Johnny's ditched us, he's Johnny's married, us. he's loving life and the honeymoon. And KP's the real hunk, so yeah. we've got we've got hunk, we've got a hunk, <laughs> we've got an actual hunky person with us. I don't think Johnny would like that one. <laughs> hey guys, guys. It's debatable. Guys. Oh, Johnny was debatable. Oh no, yeah. Dimmy, Dimmy guys, he's back. KP, weren't you his best man at the wedding? I tried to be. Does, it, does that mean, like, you're the best man, that's why you're here? Yeah, 100%. That's why. <laughs> and uh, Dimmy Nee, what's happened to you? Like, you got the uh, COVID mask on? Yeah, I got my, I got my um, Space Invaders mask because, like, oh my gosh. because I don't want to get a virus like these Space Invaders. Hey, uh, today we're trying some Afghanistan, Afghan food, Afghan cuisine. Afghan yeah. cuisine. Sure. We, we actually gone to a place called the Garn Kebab House and yeah I've yeah I've heard really good things about it. Yeah we're just trying it's skewers. Shared, it's like, like a, a, shared, a shared dish. A shared dish yeah, skewers. Platter. Yeah it's like a shared platter. Healthy. It's got, got healthy stuff on it. It's got yeah it's got rice. It's got pizza bread. It's not called pizza bread. It's called they call it bread. Skewers. But yeah, yeah bread. some sauces with it too. So it's how much do they cost? Cost seventy five dollars for all of it. But seventy five bucks. There's a lot of food and yeah, so we'll see how we go with it and we'll give a potato rating at the end. Hey Chris. Yeah, well, what's up? Did they call it the gun because you're gonna eat? No, Dimmy Nee, that is wrong. <laughs> that is the name of the business. Dimmy Nee hasn't changed one bit, uh, guys. So. The year didn't change him. No, the year didn't change him. He, 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 he mustn't have had a New Year's resolution. No, I'm still waiting for his voice to break, so. Oh, oh. My, my New Year's resolution is just not to die. <laughs> 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 I think it's for everyone too. So. Well, yeah, guys, we're gonna get this cracked open. Let's, uh, let's do it, guys. So like, now this uh, is this does cost seventy five dollars, but it does come with a one point two five liter drink as well. So as you can see, oh my gosh, food. we need some tools. Oh wow, there's, there's vegetables in there. That's really good. That's yeah, it. there's veggies. It looks like um, how impressive, guys. Look, we actually got on the hill. I was gonna say, it looks like. Looks like a Greek like dish a Greek called Yemi Star. Yemi Star, which is like stuffed, tomato. stuffed tomatoes and stuff yeah, like that. It does. It's got a few chilies and peppers there. I won't, so, I won't and try there's them. rice underneath. We've got some hummus, it looks like. Hummus, yeah. This sauce is like a... Oh my god, this looks amazing. I'm not sure. It's, it's like, like a tangy um, red sauce. It's not like... It's it's different, but it's really nice. I've tried it before. And this is like... It's like not mayonnaise. Similar like, to tzatziki, but looks exactly Sort of like tzatziki. Yeah. Sort of. It looks good, huh? But, yes, I don't know, good. we're not really... And then you've got a salad as well. It comes with a salad too, guys, so... Fantastic. You know, a bit of healthy salad. Very healthy. And healthy. then, and then you got your, your bread here. So it's like... It's more like a cheese, like a naan. The way I... The, I've tried Afghan food before. It's like a mix... It's like a cross between Greek food and then Indian food. Okay. You know what I mean? That's pretty good. That should be good, then. Yeah, guys, so... Um, Alright, so let's get stuck in, guys. Let's get this. We'll try this first. We'll try it. Guys, look at that. So, guys, this is $75. There's so much food here. There is. There's a lot, eh? Yeah. And you cut it between, you know, get some salad, a few food. Oh, what's all right? Oh, my God. What's in your mouth? Dimmy needs to enjoy himself over there. I'm just doing lots of zooming. You have nice teeth there, KP. Alright. Like Cypriot sparkle. <laughs> it's hunky for a reason. <laughs> Is that like the Cypriot spurf? Yeah, pretty much. They're all smurfs. Oh, I'm yeah. going for this meat here, guys. It's from a skewer. I think it's uh, beef. I'm not sure. 
Yeah, I'm not in your mouth though. Oh, it's great. I'm going for this chicken, I think. Is this chicken? Oh my god. Chicken? Oh. That's beautiful. Chicken. Is it good? Yeah, it is. It's a little bit spicy. A little bit. How good is the, um, the, the bread? Flies. The bread's beautiful, yeah. Chris said to me, Guys. Chris C said to me the bread's one, the, one of the best things you could have. Yeah, because the Afghan Afghan bread's beautiful. But is is this bread just That's bread or does it like a potato and leek bread? I'm not 100 percent sure. I think she said it was gluten free. It's gluten free, yeah. These ones are like a like an Afghani chivapchi or something. These ones. They're yeah, nice. they're all nice. really nice. Hey, uh, guys, so a big should we say a big uh, hello to Johnny's probably watching on the honeymoon right now. Yeah, you reckon he'll watch us? I hope so. I hope so. We, we told him. He's probably in the watch. pool sipping like. Yeah. Uh, like banana cocktail banana or cocktail or something and just enjoying himself while we're eating some Afghan food yeah. Yeah. bet you there's no Afghan food in Queensland man yeah. you, you want to do a shout out to the super fan we have a, a fan of ours his name's Johnny little Johnny hey Johnny Johnny, Johnny T Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Johnny T hey welcome to Hunky Food Dudes this is Johnny T I'm here with Chris C doing our Mother's Day McDonald's food challenge we'll see you right after this intro Hi Johnny T. Yeah, thanks for the video. Thanks for the video. We're going to have Johnny. you on the show one day. No, I'm Johnny. And uh, we'll get him on the show one day, guys, I reckon. He'll love that. Special guest. Because he's a special guest, does he get to pick the food that we review? Yeah. Oh. So guys, there's two of these stores in Adelaide. One at Brighton, there's one at Kilburn. So if you live north of the city, get it. If you live south of the city, you can get it too. So same, it's the same place. So. And which store did we go to, Chris? We went to the one at Brighton. Very lovely staff. Yeah, very. And, um, quite, you know, very busy inside. And they were, it was they were very bright to the staff. That's what maybe they, they called it Brighton. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, we got the it's called the mashiwat rice. So it comes with ten skewers. So mixed kebabs with rice, two bread, salad, small plate of hummus sauce includes the 1.25 litre drink, so it feeds four people. They did throw in two extra breads for us, just on the house. So um, yeah, you get two breads. There's another one, there's other ones there too, so... To be to be fair to them, the, the breads are massive. The breads are massive, so yeah, like, you, you, yeah. you cut them in half and like, yeah. two of them could do exactly. four people. Happy to be back trying that Afghan cuisine, because... Last time I was trying a chicken palmy burger. Yeah, it wasn't the best. The uh, best. Uh, I, think me, I don't think me and you didn't give it two no. potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can feel this. This rating's gonna be a high one. Yeah, I reckon it is. I can feel it. No. You know what we forgot to do? Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. And our merch. And our merch. Go check out our merch. All details are in the description below, guys. All right. So KP, are you like a spicy guy? I do like, I like chilli, yeah, I like spicy. Who, who takes the spice better, you or John? Uh, John's pretty good, he likes it. That's why he likes spicy guys. Exactly. Now he likes his, he's, he's pretty good with his chilli, Johnny, he likes it. Alright, so are we ready for a review? I can KP, since uh, you haven't been on many shows lately, you can start off with the first review. Yeah. Let um, us know what you think and yeah. potato rate, potato rate. What do you reckon? Man, I, I really liked it. Yeah? I, I really liked it, boys. I thought it was... Like we said when we got there, you know, it looked like a mixture of our type of food, like Greek food and maybe a mixture of Greek and Lebanese or Greek and Indian or something, that's what it's like. The meat, the chicken looked real good, like it was good chicken, you know, it wasn't bad quality and I, it was, all of it was nice. The dip, the white dip, that white one, I don't know what it is, but it's, oh, it's, it's good. It's beautiful, it yeah. It doesn't say here on the menu what it is. Nah, I'm not sure what, I know this one's hummus. It's like an aioli. Yeah, of. it's like a mixture of tzatziki with something else. Yeah, I don't know. it's like a garlic sauce, but it's... It's not. It's, it doesn't have that garlic. It's different to garlic. Nah, but it's yeah. But it's, it's like it's like it's like. It's, no, it's, no, it's no garlic. Nah. And like the the rice, like Jimmy said, isn't. It's not overwhelming. It's like a real light rice. You, yeah. Yeah. When you get when you eat rice normally, yeah, usually like, it's you're really full. full. Yeah. But it yeah. was real light rice, and I, I, as well on top. Of, I think for what was it, seventy five bucks for a whole family. Yeah. And if you're going through three or four people, what's that? It's, well, we you haven't know, even finished it. That's what I'm saying. Like that. There's so much rice that, left. That's, yeah. Like that's if you're doing it between, let's say, three or four people, you're paying hardly nothing to have a real good meal. I'm I'm gonna give it a high rating. I'm gonna say. Oh, here, here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna say it was like it's in between. It's it's definitely in between like eight and nine. I reckon it's eight point five potatoes. I reckon it, it was real eight, good. Eight point five. Yeah, wow. It was nice. All right. Do you, do you want to go next? Or well, you, you go, Chris. All right, guys. I'm pretty much the same as uh, KP over here. Uh, it was delicious. The the meat it was so tender and so mm. soft. Like it's melted in your mouth when you when you bite into it. And bread. <laughs> Was amazing too. Yeah, the Wasn't, bread. I didn't. What? I didn't even mention the bread. The bread was. And like yeah, I said, they, they were massive too. Like they're massive. Could, oh yeah, they could have two and cut them. Yeah. In half, you have four pieces. Yeah, that's right. Really and then what? Went too doughy, very fluffy, very easy to eat. 
Um, the sauces were amazing. Um, this white one, as, as Kate, yes. Kate B said, it was so nice. Even, it was really, even the red one, the red one's really nice too. And then hummus is just hummus, everyone knows that. Yeah. But salad was good too. The rice, yeah, I didn't have too much of the rice, but yeah, it was it had a unique taste to it. And mm. yeah, it was very light. Didn't didn't really feel like it was very heavy. And yeah, for seventy five dollars, all that food, and look how much food is left over. If you can have a look. Like, look at all that. I mean, there's so much like food left. Fantastic, great for value. I'm gonna go, yeah, uh, 8.7 guys, potatoes. Yeah. So 8.7, I would recommend it. If you're in the area, try try some Afghan food. It's a cuisine that's fairly new, I, I guess, in, in Australia. Like, yeah. you know, well, it's not yeah. Yeah, like, Greek, Greek food and Italian food been around, around for a while, but could never find Afghan food. Yeah, well, like now. I said, I think they own both the stores, don't they? Yeah, yeah, so, so they own both the stores, and that kind of food's coming out here now yeah. in Australia, so try it out, guys. It's really good, and it's healthy, too. Yeah, yeah guys, look, I totally agree with the boys. It's it's an option where, like, if you're going out on a Saturday night, you don't know what to eat, so, you know, going for a burger or fish and chips, you, this is a completely different option. That's what I like about it, too. It's something different. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. The meat was tender, melts in your mouth. The rice, as, as everyone said, easy to eat, doesn't fill you up. The bread was superb. All the, all the, all the sauces were second to, you know, like, second to none. Um, I would give it uh, nine potatoes. I, yeah. I reckon it deserves nine. Yeah. Nine. That's, that's what I said. It was definitely in between like eight point five and nine. Yeah. It was so it was real good. Like it's, it's really good, guys. Yeah. It's uh. Yeah, make sure you go and support them. Yeah, they're sure. really nice people there, and they've got a restaurant in the front, so you can actually eat eat there too. And, and there was, it was busy. It was, well, it was busy. Like, it was not. It was. It was full. Yeah. It so was when busy, you, uh, it was busy, and our food still came out clear. Yeah. When you see a place that's busy, you know it's good. It's good. Yeah. It's a good sign. Yeah. So definitely be back again. Yeah. Um, I think we have to take Johnny there. I, don't know, I reckon us three. Us three? <laughs> uh, we've got, we've got the hunt. We've got the hunt now. We'll take him. We'll take him. <laughs> Can I have a turn now? Oh, uh, Dimity. What's your, what's your uh, verdict? Um, I really liked. It was a bit spicy and stuff, and and the rice was the, had good texture and colour and was very fluffy, and then the sauces were just amazing. Um, so I give it a thousand potatoes. A thousand, jeez. Uh, it got really excited. It's up there. <laughs> We're under. It's uh, raining from Dimmy Neal. Yeah, Dimmy Neal, like, he's just lo losing the plot. And, and, and I think the rice was gluten free, so I haven't got any information issues tonight, <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> There you have it folks, Dimmy Nee, he uh, enjoyed it, so if he enjoyed it, you know it's good guys. So yeah. get down to the Garn Kebab House. Mm. Hey guys, what's what's next on the agenda? I've got the best idea for that next episode, right? We blindfold Jim, right? Jimmy T. And then we just bring him food, different kinds, and he has to guess what it is. And then he can review it. Yeah, and he can yeah, review yeah, it and see it. which one's the best. Can I and say then and then after we deal with him, he can do me and then yeah. like can, be cool. Can, can I, I sign a waiver? Can I help facilitate? <laughs> no it? chilies. You know what's yeah. gonna happen? <laughs> We're gonna do this episode. I'm gonna have a cardiac arrest on, live on TV. Live on YouTube. It's only on YouTube, man. It doesn't it's not real. No. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys if you guys agree with that, if, if that's a good idea, let us know in the comments no, below, guys. No, please don't agree with it. <laughs> and we'll make it happen. That's gonna you know that's gonna make them agree with it. Once you say don't, please don't agree with it, you're done. Well, look, we did discuss on the blindfold thing, so maybe do that down the track if you want. Or, you know, if you got any suggestion, guys. Don't vote sure. for it. Don't vote for it. <laughs> I reckon we'll vote for it. Vote for it, guys. Yeah, vote for it. Actually, we might put a vote up on uh, on Instagram. No, no. Well, just be spicy, man. Don't worry. You, you're, worry we, you're worried for nothing. Hey, with our Uber Eats episode, I knew what was coming. That was a great episode, guys. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> so we had a lot of fun on that one. But we'll, we'll definitely do another Chris Pringle one next year, for sure. Yeah, well, this year. Fun. Well, well, we could do that again. Not. We could do like an Uber eat, eat, Eats one again because that was fun. Where well, we don't know what we're getting. Is it going to be? Maybe there's going to be a special Easter episode or something. Is there? There has to be. Well, has Valentine's, to be. Day. Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Oh my god! What to get your partner? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, Valentine's Day is coming up, so it's probably be the next one. But we can yeah, all die each other. By doing Uber Eats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Die each other. Yeah. Yeah. Except, no, that's about it. That's about it. <laughs> no, no kisses. Ends there. <laughs> Ends there. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. And remember, stay hunky, and we'll see you on the next episode of Hunky Food Dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, welcome to Hunky Food Dudes, episode 35. Say Chris Lee. Oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Lee. He was looking at you like you. No, 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 no. We'll see you right after this intro. Hello, man, today. <laughs> <laughs>
Do it again? That's good, that's good. Do it again, do again so you can do your thing? Yeah. And I'm here too! <laughs> That's the best. Hunker! <laughs> Hunker! <laughs>